Hi, my name is Jonathan Brand and I'm for the JFox support team. In this short video, I will explain the differences between licenses and bucket licenses. Let's start. The type of licenses a customer receives depends on the subscription he purchases. Customers that purchase the Pro, Pro X, or Enterprise X subscription will receive their licenses separated from each other, which can be installed directly to any artifact or node you have. While customers that purchase the Enterprise Plus subscription will receive a bucket of licenses, which can only be installed via Mission Control, another JFOC product. The reason for this change is mainly because in Enterprise Plus, we receive two different types of artifactory licenses, but this is for a different video. Let's take a look now in Artifactory, how we can see the changes and how to assign the different licenses to Artifactory. So we have Artifactory open. In order to install a new license or update an existing one, all we need to do is click on the administration tab, click on licenses and licenses again, and we will see where we need to update our license. After pasting your new license, just click on save to save the changes. Currently, you can see that we have an enterprise subscription license installed on this artifactory. We will now move uh, to Enterprise Plus and see how we install it via mission control and assign the new licenses, the Enterprise Plus licenses to this artifactory node. As mentioned, Enterprise Plus subscription will receive a license of buckets information to add mission control to be able to include the license in Portifactory. First, let's take a look at the information and how we receive it after we purchase Enterprise Plus subscription. This is an example of how we receive the information for the bucket of licenses. Again, when purchasing Enterprise Plus, we receive automatically two different buckets for two different types of artifactory licenses. For now, let's just concentrate on the top one. As we can see here, we receive the bucket of three licenses. It gives us the information of when it expires and it provides us the most valuable information, the signed URL and the key. Let's go ahead into mission control and add our own bucket of license. So again, pretty straightforward. We'll go to the administration under licenses. We will now click on license buckets. Let's go ahead the new bucket. I already prepared the details beforehand. So let's just copy and paste them. You can see that I added the signed URL and the key is provided, but there's also a file upload option in case your environment is not connected to the internet. For now, we'll just go with this approach. Let's add the bucket. We can see that the bucket has been added and the bucket includes four licenses with the Enterprise Plus subscription. Let's go ahead now and try to assign one of these licenses our current artifactory. All we need to do is press on the arrow on the right, attach license, select our location where we want to add the licenses and select how many licenses we want to attach, attach to this instance. Let's go ahead and attach the license. You can see confirmation that says that the license was added successfully to our artifactory. Now we can go ahead and take a look if it's actually um, been changed. So we'll go back to our previous license screen. We can see now that from enterprise we've been changed to enterprise pass. That was my video on the difference between licenses and bucket licenses and how you apply them into artifactory. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to leave your comments, feedbacks, or questions in the comment section below.